Okay, solving equations part two, number four, or if you're in the full practice exam, this is number 29. All right, so these are getting progressively harder, but we're just going to follow our process. The first thing I'm doing is I'm going to rewrite it, eliminating all my subtraction, doing our additive inverse. Okay, so that's the first step to getting everything nice and organized so that you can start solving. Now, before I can actually solve, I need to simplify first. Each side, right? On the left-hand side, there's nothing to simplify. I have negative 3y plus 31. That's good how it is. But on the right, I actually have some distributing I can do. I can distribute that 8 into my expression in the parentheses. 8 times y is 8y. Eight, 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. So once I distribute, now I've got an equation with variables on both sides. So now I can start solving. I need to get my variables on one side, my constants on the other side. So variables on one side, constants on the other. You decide which, where you want them to go. Do you want the variables on the left or the variables on the right? I like having the variables on the left and my constants on the right but it's up to you, okay? I also like to use some strategy when I solve, but you don't have to. As long as you follow the math rules of solving and you get the variables on one side and the constants on the other, you're set. So if I want my variables on the left, that means the variable on the right has to go. 8y is being added. If I have something that's being added, I want to make that zero if I have to get rid of it. I have to get rid of it, I need it to become zero, so 8y minus 8y equals 0, or 8y plus negative 8y equals 0. However you want to look at that number. If I have negative 3y and I have negative 8y, together I have negative 11y's. Plus 31, remember that 31 drops down. This got eliminated, so my negative 24 falls down. Now I just have a two-step equation to solve. It should be very simple from this point. I get negative 11y equals negative 55. Eliminate that negative 11 that's being multiplied using my reciprocal. 55 over 11 is five. Negative times a negative is positive y equals 5. 